The 2024 Volkswagen Tiguan R-Line is a trim level of the popular Tiguan SUV offered by Volkswagen. The R-Line typically includes sporty design elements and features, aimed at enhancing the vehicle's appearance and performance. This may include unique exterior styling cues, such as distinctive bumpers, side skirts, wheels, and badging, as well as interior enhancements such as sport seats, unique trim, and R-Line branding. In 2024, Volkswagen may continue to offer the Tiguan R-Line trim, which would likely incorporate the latest design and technology features available at that time. These could include advanced driver assistance systems, connectivity features, and possibly even electrified powertrain options, depending on Volkswagen's product strategy and market trends. Overview A compact crossover with surprisingly large interior space, the Tiguan brings sharp style and unexpected versatility to a crowded, competitive class. The Tiguan's elegant exterior lines echo the larger Volkswagen Atlas and even Pricer Audi and BMW crossovers, while the interior design, not especially imaginative, is nonetheless treated to premium materials and an intuitive layout. Smooth ride quality matches the Tiguan's upscale vibe, which extends to the strong, low-end power from its turbo engine. Some clunky gear changes mar the driving experience, and most rivals are slightly more fuel-efficient, but the Tiguan's overall sophistication makes it a top small SUV pick. Performance How does the Tiguan drive? The turbocharged engine is reasonably strong. We tested a front-wheel drive Tiguan, and it accelerated from 0 to 60 miles per hour in 8.9 seconds, which is average for a small three-row SUV. But the Tiguan has a problem deploying its power smoothly, and is somewhat prone to both underreacting and overreacting to moderate requests for more power. This makes it occasionally difficult to accelerate smoothly. The steering has good accuracy and excellent weighting. Whether you're navigating a parking lot or a twisty road, the Tiguan is a willing partner. The brakes, too, are light and easy to manage. Smooth stops can be made without a second thought. Outright stopping power isn't the best, due in large part to fairly low grip tires, but our test Tiguan demonstrated good stability and composure in our emergency braking tests. Comfort How comfortable is the Tiguan? With a ride that borders on plush, its clear Volkswagen made comfort a priority with the Tiguan. Sharp bumps are nicely rounded off, and a highway ride manages to float over imperfections, while maintaining very good body control. Even larger potholes are absorbed without much notice. Once underway, the Tiguan boasts a quiet cabin with minimal engine, road and wind noise, even at elevated speeds. The engine does sound somewhat crude when pulling away from a stop, but it blends into the background quickly. The climate system's touch-sensitive controls are now our favorite, but the system otherwise provides good air coverage and adjustability. Front seat comfort is oak, but we wish they'd offered a bit more support especially in the bottom cushions, and better breathability. The outboard second-row seats offer welcome sculpting and bolstering, but the third-row seats are barely functional for anyone but small children. Interior How's the interior? The Tiguan scores high marks for its highly adjustable driving position and good all-around visibility. And thanks to its large door openings, the Tiguan is very easy to step in and out of, so long as you're sitting in the first two rows. Climbing into the third row requires a lot of flexibility to squeeze through the narrow gap. Also, the second row seats require some muscle to slide forward. Third row passengers will not enjoy the trip no matter how short it is. Space is tight, much tighter than in the third row of the Kia Sorento, because of limited headroom and legroom. The seats are flat and uncomfortable too. Second row passengers might want a bit more legroom too. The Tiguan's rear legroom is far more generous if you don't get the third row seat. The interior of the Tiguan looks sleek. Unfortunately, Volkswagen has also made extensive use of touch-sensitive switches instead of physical buttons. These controls are easy to use when parked, and we appreciate the simulated tactile feedback from the steering wheel controls. But using these switches while driving can also draw your attention away from the road, because you still have to look to pinpoint the one you want, rather than go by feel as you can with a regular button. Pricing and which one to buy the price of the 2024 Volkswagen Tiguan starts at $30,305 and goes up to $40,305 depending on the trim and options. As of last year, we recommend the mid-range Southeast trim as it adds 18-inch wheels, a power-operated rear liftgate, remote start, and dual-zone climate control. Note that for 2024, however, the base S trim gets the IQ Drive Semi-Autonomous Lane Keeping Assist Mode 
previously only on the southeast and up. That said, the S still uses a smaller 6.5-inch infotainment screen and doesn't offer the panoramic sunroof option, which is a $1,200 option on the southeast. Technology How's the tech? Our test vehicle was equipped with the 8-inch touchscreen. It has a neat feature that automatically displays some virtual buttons on the screen when your hand gets close to the screen. But for the price, the features seemed a bit thin, with no navigation and only the most basic information offered for vehicle status and various audio displays. Thankfully, smartphone integration through Android Auto and Apple CarPlay is standard, and front passengers get two USB-C ports. Our Southeast R-Line test model included wireless charging but offered only one USB-C port for second-row passengers and none for the third row. We found the various advanced driver aids to be well-behaved and easy to use. Our only gripe stems from the adaptive cruise control system, which was slow to respond in stop-and-go traffic. The Tiguan's lane-keeping assistance works well on the open highway but loses its effectiveness on anything more than a gentle bend. Storage How's the storage? Tiguan's equipped with three rows of seats get 12 cubic feet behind the last row, which is on par for what you get from other compact three-row SUVs. Folding the third row seats results in 33 cubes, and doing the same to the second row seats maxes out the three-row Tiguan to 65.3 cubic feet. If cargo capacity is more important than passenger count, note that the two-row Tiguan offers 37.6 cubes and a more generous 73.4 cubes when all the seats are down. Those numbers are similar to those of other compact two-row SUVs like the RAV4 and CRV. Inside, the Tiguan treats its front occupants with fully lined door pockets and center console, so things don't rattle around as much. The cup holders work well to hold a variety of bottle sizes. There's even a handy tray on top of the dash for sunglasses. Towing is not the Tiguan's strong suit, and it is rated for only 1,500 pounds once a hitch has been installed by the dealer. By contrast, the Kia Sorento can pull up to 3,500 pounds. Fuel Economy How's the fuel economy? The front-wheel drive Tiguan's EPA estimated fuel economy of 26 mpg combined is unremarkable. In fact, that's very similar to the Kia Sorento, and that SUV has an extra 100 horsepower. But on Edmund's real-world evaluation route, our test Tiguan returned an excellent 30 mpg and did so using only the required 87 octane gasoline. Value? Is the Tiguan a good value? If you're willing to pay for the extra versatility a third row of seating provides, the Tiguan can represent a fairly good bargain in the compact SUV segment. The materials and features don't always match what some rivals offer, but the Tiguan's overall look and style are premium and modern.